Yeah, okay, so this is an interesting one. The question is just, what are your thoughts on hydroponic gardening? And I don't really know which way I wanna go with this because the science is on the fence technically, right? But not really, like you could scour the internet for days on this stuff. It's like the same way of like trying to look at caloric intake for kids. Like you could scour the internet and just find like crazy mixed information. So what's happening is like farmers are up in arms about it because like the USDA, uh, I think in 2015 or something like decided that hydroponics can technically be called organic. And then all the farmers freaked out because there's no soil and they actually get to use permitted pesticides and they get to use permitted fertilizers and all this stuff. So the farmers are like that shouldn't be able to be called USDA organic. That's nonsense. But we all know that USDA can be bought off for whatever you want to pay them. Right. And people argue that one hydroponics can't be organic. And they also argue that hydroponic produce is not as nutrient dense. But then there are all these studies. Well, I don't. I say all these studies. There, there are hardly any studies on nutrient density. Um, I mean, whatsoever, really, comparing hydroponic versus soil-grown produce. And the tests that have been done are kind of mixed. So, like, some show no difference in the nutrients that they measure, and then some show hydroponics having more of a specific nutrient, and others show soil-grown produce having more of specific nutrients. But they're only testing for specific nutrients. They're not testing for minerals, which are super important in the soil, right? So, in my opinion. The further you get from like a holistic food ecosystem, the worse things get always, right? In the soil will save us. I talked about mycorrhizal fungi. Mycorrhizal fungi directly penetrate the roots of plants and they actually regulate the minerals that they're giving to those plants, like the nutrients they're giving to the plants. The plants take in carbon and they feed carbon through the root system into the mycorrhizal fungi. The mycorrhizal fungi is a web that spreads out all throughout the entire forest and all the, the roots of these plants, right? So these mycorrhizal fungi are feeding minerals and nutrients up into these plants. None of this happens with the hydroponic system, right? So I understand the efforts here, but to me, it feels a little bit like what people did with feedlot cattle. It's like, we're just gonna make the biggest yield possible like how can we just remove nature from the situation and just basically make a feedlot for vegetables, right? And there's a lot of problems when you get into that, this quantity versus quality type thing, or they think it's more sustainable, blah, 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 blah. But for me, like personally, I would choose organic soil grown produce over hydroponics 10 out of 10 times. Like I'm, I would absolutely always go with soil grown because I understand the importance of nutrient density. It's literally, the, we are made out of carbon, everybody. Like I understand nutrient density, okay? So without a doubt, I would always take organic soil grown produce over hydroponic produce. That said, I'm not saying hydroponics are gonna kill you. Like I get it, I get what people are trying to do, but I just can't see a scenario in which it's as nutritious as a whole food in an ecosystem in nature from like a regenerative agriculture farm or something like that. And then we actually get into the environmental piece, which you start talking about artificial lighting and all this stuff, which is a whole different ball game because you look at these, like they call them vertical growing operations and stuff. These are in like shipping containers. So people are buying like $85,000 shipping containers and setting them up with all these artificial lighting systems and, and automatic watering systems and all this crazy stuff, right? And they've actually done studies on this and shown that the carbon footprint is much, much higher than conventionally grown produce because things like light from the sun are free and you don't have to spin an electrical meter to get them, right? Sun's free, artificial lighting is not. So again, it's like the further we get away from an actual ecosystem, the worse I think things are gonna are gonna get. And I'll be interested to see how this pans out over the, the current like over the like over like the coming years. But I hope that um I hope somebody figures out just a better way to do this in all honesty. Um because yeah, I mean food the food system is a really big problem. Food system is a big problem, population's a big problem, there's a, a lot of stuff. But then again, population might not be a huge problem because everybody is using estrogenics and there's microplastics in the drinking water and glyphosate, and fertility levels are dropping again and again and again and again. Fertility liver levels in America are now at a new all-time low, right? Fertility rates just keep dropping and dropping and dropping because people are just not healthy. Um, so I don't know why we don't just focus money on converting farms to regenerative farms and actually changing the environment for the better. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know what all the bait's about. I don't get all the fuss, everybody. It's just crazy. But that's my take on hydroponics. So...